Well, hello. Uh, look at all you beautiful people. It's amazing. Um, speaking of beautiful, uh, one beautiful bride. Um, you guys have come from local, from out of town, from out of state, from out of country, cross country. It just, uh, it just amazes me and it's a testament to um, what great people these two are. Um, I'd just like to thank everyone for being here to share this with me, and, or us. Um, <laughs> me. me. Um, it, it fr it's from the Rush family and the Scrizzuti family. We welcome you and thank you for being here. Um, that's short and sweet. <laughs> Doc, thank you so much. Uh, the, uh... Oh, you were, you're cute too, Casey. I didn't mention that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, good evening and welcome everyone. It's so great to see you here together celebrating the new Mr. and Mrs. Rush. <laughs> yeah, we would first like to recognize Dr. and Mrs. Scrizzuti, Mr. and Mrs. Rush, and all the family and friends who have come here and traveled far and wide to make this beautiful wedding possible. I'm Amy. I'm Megan, and we are Amanda's Matrons of Honor. And we're also some of her best friends. We have both known the bride and groom for over a decade, and the stories we could tell are inappropriate, and also would go on and on, so we decided against that. We want to focus on these beautiful couple and their future in marriage. Um, we can see how beautiful Amanda is. I've never seen a more beautiful bride. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> but honestly, in all seriousness, we are very lucky to get to know that Amanda is even more beautiful on the inside than she is on the outside. We've been blessed with that. Amanda is passionate about what and whom she loves. It's not just me. <laughs> Jimmy is talking. Okay. She is strong beyond belief. Why I'm so sorry. <laughs> and she is loyal AF. AF. <laughs> um, now Casey, on the other hand, <laughs> he had to win some of us over, but we're so glad he did. These two are generally partners in crime and best friends. It's pretty apparent to anyone who knows them. They bring out the best in one another and find the party in each and every day when they're together. You both are blessed to come from timeless examples of long-lasting marriage and love. Our wish for your marriage is that it remains modern enough to survive the times, but old-fashioned enough to last forever. We are excited for this next chapter in your lives, and please know we will be cheering you on every step of the way. All right, we won't cry anymore. <laughs> We love you both so much. We obviously got over the taking a little while to love Case. Now he's one of our own. We love them more than we can say. If everyone could please raise their glasses and join us in cheersing the new Mr. and Mrs. Rush. Cheers! I'm going to cry, so who cares? Whatever. Uh, I'd like to start off, start off first by saying thanks to the Russian Skrizzutis for all your contributions in making this whole weekend so special for Casey and Amanda. Um, everything has turned out amazing, and I know they really appreciate it for all you've done for them. Skrubu, uh, that's a nickname I gave her, I think. I don't know. Does anybody know? Yeah, so Skrubu. Um, two quick things. You look absolutely gorgeous today, and uh, good luck with him. I'm truly honored to be standing up here right now giving this speech. You see, throughout a lifetime we all accumulate a lot of people who we consider a friend. Whether it be from school, work, or whatever, some point you will have a large group of people you think will always be there forever, and then reality sets in. School ends, you move on to a new job, you start a family, and then a lot of those people disappear. It's not necessarily anyone's fault, but life happens then you are left with the closest people in life. Your family, best friends, brothers. Casey is one of my best friends and also a brother. We have had uh, countless memories, a lot of great memories. 
almost none of them appropriate for a best man speech. <laughs> but definitely perfect to talk about while enjoying some good craft beers. We have also had our fair share of ups and downs, lots of times where he annoyed the crap out of me because he wouldn't stop Snapchatting me and recording my every move or taking pictures. I blame you for that, Dean. <laughs> or like the times back in the day when we used to DJ together and we'd blow the power out in the middle of a home school, or homecoming dance or a prom or whatever in case he would run off every time and fake try calling somebody on his phone and left me alone <laughs> to get the music back up and running, the power back on. <laughs> yeah, he, he did it every single time. And I had to do all this before everybody started booing me. <laughs> you see, in the end, you don't lose true friendships and brotherhoods over a fight, a new job, relocation, or botched DJ gigs. <laughs> Friends and family are forever. I am beyond, beyond happy for both of you. You guys are awesome people, and I wish you many years of happiness. Well, a lot of stuff I was going to say was already mentioned earlier, but again, special thank you to Amanda's parents and our parents for all the hospitality this, these past couple days. It was, it's been wonderful. So let's give them a big hand if we could. And before we move on any, any further here, I'd like to formally welcome Amanda to our family. She's been like family for quite some time already, known as Uncle Amanda by our, our two boys, the ring bearers. Crew and Brox, who did awesome today. So, and they're still doing good. They're gonna be out there on the dance floor in a little bit, so they're looking forward to that. I'm gonna try to keep this brief because I know we have a lot of fun stuff lined up here tonight, but I wanna thank you for allowing me to stand up here beside you. Um, it was about six years ago, it feels like forever ago, when you stood up here with me. So, it's an honor to return the favor and stand up there next to you this evening when you watched Amanda walk down the aisle. It was really, really a powerful moment. You can't really explain um, how that feels. So it was really an honor to be there. Um, I've only been a best man one other time in, in, in a wedding. So I guess I don't have many friends. I don't know what that means, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's really cool to be up here with your brother. And when I, huh. So, when I was asked to be the, one of the best men, you know, I wanted to Google it, make sure, huh? We're co-best cool men. Cool men, yeah, co-best cool men. <laughs> so I had to Google, you know, a little bit to see exactly what I had to do. One of the things to do was help plan the bachelor party, which Casey kind of did all by himself. And I just had to send out emails and, and uh, get the list of people. So that was easy. The second part was to do a speech here tonight, and I... I know I had like 20 months to prepare this, but I, I started on Wednesday. <laughs> Just kind of wrote down some stuff. And it said you're supposed to roast the groom and, and uh, kind of make fun of him a little bit, but you know, that's not in my nature. I'm a very serious person, so <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna spare you guys on that. But uh, back when I was about five years old, I was told that I was gonna have a big surprise coming my way. And I didn't know what it was, and, like, I, I already had a Nintendo, so I didn't need anything else. I mean, my life was complete. I'm thinking, maybe they'll surprise me with a Slurpee machine, because I always, I always wanted a Slurpee machine, too. So, a little bit later, Casey comes around, and it was cool. You know, we had a... Huh? That was a surprise, but it, it was a good surprise. It, it didn't really, you know, it wasn't awesome all the way through, because when you're younger, you know... When you're younger, it, it's harder. You know, I see it with my two boys now. Um, but I feel like over the years, we've become closer now than ever. And, and that's kind of what I want to touch on. I really feel like with our work and, and stuff that we've, and, and the uncle you've become to my, my boys, I really feel like we're closer now than ever. So I, I, I thank you for that. And um, I wanted to compliment all the bridesmaids tonight. They all look stunning. Along with Amanda, you know, she is just... What'd I do? I think I'm covering the signal, right? But she looks amazing tonight, one of the, one of the most stunning brides I've seen, and I do this every weekend, so, so that's, uh, that's pretty special. 
I knew these guys had something unique when, when they were talking in like a different language. I, I remember I was looking at my wife and Carly on vacation one time, and I said, what are they saying? I can't understand. Like they're saying totes and soups and oh my goony, and, and all these other things. So I knew that it must be, huh? I'm sorry, I had to throw it in there. But I thought my hearing was going bad. I've been, I've been told I have selective hearing, so. But, but they did confirm that they were saying those words, and it's just their little language they had going on for a little while, and it was, and, uh, it was pretty, pretty special. You know, it's true love when you have your own words. Um, you know, a couple of little tips, you know, on this, uh, on marriage. I'm a professional now. It's been six years. Is it six years? My, my lovely wife, Stephanie. It feels like... A lot longer than that, but it's, it's been six years. I think we're going to hit seven here in November, right? Maybe, she said. She said maybe. <laughs> but, but knowing these two and seeing what they've done over the years already, their compatibility, and they're, they're just they're sincere people, they're sweet, they're loving and caring. I know they're going to do wonderful things together, so that's, that's pretty obvious from what everybody's shared here tonight. So... You know, I want you guys to continue to live and laugh and love. That's really important for marriage. Um, can keep that in your house, and you guys will, you guys will do great things, and you guys will continue to have awesome milestones together, and more and more moments uh, that you'll be grateful for and excited for throughout your life. And the one thing that doesn't change is that she'll always continue to be r right, Casey, and you'll always be wrong. So, so that that's just going to be a given. So, in closing. Um, I want to inspire everyone here tonight to, to have a good time. It's our responsibility to make this night special and fun for these two up here tonight. So if there's ever a night to get embarrassed and have fun on the dance floor, it's tonight, you know. Um, and, yeah, or last night, but and nobody here can ruin this for these two tonight. So um, I know some of you are looking at me like that's a challenge I accept, but... Um, Scotty, Scotty might go swimming later, I don't know, but, um, so like I said, let's have a great time tonight, so, oh my goodness, if we could all stand up for one more time, and I'm going to ask everyone to grab their glasses, and for those of you that are still able to stand after the cocktail hour, please stand and join me in one more toast tonight, for the new Mr. and Mrs. Casey Rush. Let's totes have a great time tonight. Cheers. Well, I'm going to come back here so nobody can see me. <laughs> yes, I am standing up. Well, I'll tell you what. My wife said behave tonight. For the last three months, she's been saying behave. So I'm not going to do any of the, the humorous stuff because these guys have done a great job with it. But I'm just going to say that it's been a privilege to be, to be asked to give the prayer for the first meal of Amanda and Casey as husband and wife. And normally I don't write things down, but I didn't want to botch this. So usually I ad lib it. So I'm going to try to go with some special thoughts in my heart. And I'd like to begin by saying how proud I am of Casey. He has become a wonderful young man. Very wonderful. And every week I receive numerous compliments from folks that he encounters by saying what a fine person he is, and I'd like to take this time to thank my wife, Jean, for all she's done to help mold him into the finest person he is today. And again, to say how proud and truly honored I am to be his father. And Amanda, you've got yourself a real gem. And Steve and Shelley, I'd like to thank you. Let's see, where are you? There you are. Because all you've done to mold Amanda, the perfect young lady she is today, um, she compliments Casey and makes him a better person. And we see that because I'd say since they've been dating and being together, they've grown and they're, they're just incredible. Uh, she blends right in with our family. And Amanda, you truly look beautiful today. But more importantly, it is your inward beauty that we see all the time that makes you stand out as a kind and loving person. We're equally honored to have you as our daughter-in-law. So, 
So the, thank you. Uh, so the two of you right from the start, so two of you have the, the right start for an exceptional marriage. So as we pray for this meal and the wedding celebration, let's also pray for Casey and Amanda and their future together. I'm excited to see what God has planned for their lives. So let's bow, ladies and gentlemen. Lord, great creator of this beautiful setting, all that is, the Lord of life and love, we give you thanks for all your goodness, for the abundance of food this evening, for the abundance of family and friends, and the abundance of laughter and love. We also pray for those suffering in the world today. We want to remember and give thanks for our family members that have passed before and for all that they've done to help mold Casey and Amanda in all the amazing people they are today. We pray that this meal might be a time to nourish our bodies, nourish our strong relationships as we combine two wonderful families, the Rushes and the Scrizzutis, into one big happy family. We pray for Casey and Amanda that the love they share will flourish and grow. May they continue in your joy and strength. May they bless their families the way their families have blessed them. May all of us that participate in this celebration night carry your joy and your love with us forever. And finally, watch over all of us as we travel after this wonderful weekend, for you are truly the source of all that is good. Amen. Amen. Dean, thank you for that. Well done, man. Well done.